some of the ideas that I want to people, I would hope that people would think about that has to do with the way or manner that we form understandings, you know, that we, you know, what people say, make judgments about the world. What I'd like an audience to think about is how something comes into consciousness. And uh, my ambition is to highlight the way we, the way our cognitive or thinking function works. Uh, these drawings are uh, from a series I call the Explosion Series. And they're part of a larger body work I call the, the Disaster Series. I wanted to abstract it so I didn't have a, 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 a something that actually established a cause for the explosion. It's just, it's just a phenomenon of the explosion. I call this the appendix, you know, but, but it's a text that comes from research on the history of wars, insurrection, and revolution. You know. And, uh, and uh, so the text describes or, or reads the, the history of a particular insurrection, the Haitian Revolution, the Cuban Revolution, the, the various uh, res revolutions that happened in Africa and in South America. And uh, so this, this is, accompanies the drawing. So at first, I, I suspect that at the first impulse, people would think that the text illustrates the drawing. But, uh, but when you read the text, you realize that it really doesn't. And, and so this really raises the, the main idea of the work, and that is that I com combine two things that are arbitrarily related, that they have no intentional linkage. They don't complement complement each other illustratively. So, does that, does that make sense? I'm glad it makes sense to somebody. <laughs> Use the montage in order to highlight the, the strategy of, or the experience of how we understand. And what this means is that somehow you have to get past the perceived subject. Now, the subject of this work is this explosion. And, and maybe if you think about it within the text of the narrative, you know, maybe it's a, somewhat of a political piece. But this is the tough part. I, I'd like people in some way, of, as they engage the subject, to get past it and, 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 and encounter what they're going through in thinking about the piece. So the arbitrariness is, is the vice to facilitate that. What it does is it, it, it confuses or it subverts uh, sort of linear thinking. But hopefully, you know, people will sort of understand that that's the true subject of the work, their own experience in the process of looking at it. You know.